Welcome to the Live Free, Love Life podcast, where we discuss how to create more freedom so we can love our lives no matter what we're going through. Hello, my friends. Welcome to today's episode of Live Free, Love Life. Today, we're going to talk about the stories we tell ourselves and how to free ourselves from our limiting stories by separating fact from fiction. So Viktor Frankl said, between stimulus and response, there is a space. And in that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. We humans love a good story. From childhood fairy tales to Hollywood blockbusters, we are captivated by narrative arcs, character development, and triumph over obstacles. Stories help us make sense of the events in our lives and share meaning with each other. But what happens when the stories we tell ourselves start holding us back? When the narratives we construct in our mind become prison rather than pathways to growth? The truth is, we are the authors of our own life stories. Through the lens of our thoughts and perspectives, we shape the raw circumstances of existence into tales of victory or defeat, abundance or scarcity, love or rejection. And once these stories take hold in our psyches, they can become self-fulfilling prophecies, blinding us to other interpretations and possibilities. But it doesn't have to be this way. We can reclaim our authorial power by recognizing when the tales we spin are fiction rather than fact, by separating narrative from circumstance, story from reality, we free ourselves to rewrite our lives. One of the core insights that can liberate us from the tyranny of limiting stories is this. All circumstances are neutral until we assign them meaning through our thoughts. So think about this. The raw events of our lives are just sensory data streams of color, shape, and sound. It is our interpretation, our thought commentary layered on top that constructs the dramas we experience as reality. For example, let's say you're passed over for a promotion. So first, we have the just actual facts. Somebody was offered a position. You were not offered a position. Those are just the facts. So we layer on top of that a story that you were passed over for the promotion. And then we layer on top of that story, I'm not good enough, or my boss doesn't respect me, or I'll never get ahead. And suddenly, the neutral circumstance of a job shift transforms into a personal tragedy colored by hurt, anger, and despair. Or perhaps your romantic relationship in. The facts are simply that one person said words to another person and then they go separate ways. But add in narratives of rejection, unworthiness, and fear of being alone forever, and that neutral event becomes the plot of a heartbreaking romantic drama. In these examples, the core facts are simple and unemotional, but the meanings we assign through our interpretive stories shape our entire felt experience of reality. To take this further, here are some side-by-side -side comparisons that highlight just how much of what we think of as reality is actually narrative fiction. So here's comparison number one. Story. I never have enough money. I work so hard, but it all goes to bills and I never get ahead. I feel so stressed and anxious about finances all the time. My scarcity mindset is really holding me back. Okay, now that's the story. Here are the facts. Current income is $6,000 per month. Current expenses are $5,600 per month. No bills are delinked. Do you see the difference between these two, the facts and the story? Okay, here's comparison number two. Here's the story. I'm surrounded by selfish, inconsiderate people. Everyone is out for themselves. People are constantly taking advantage of me. I feel like I'm always getting the short end of the stick and being treated unfairly. Now, here are the facts. Mike booked a trip from March 13th to March 22nd. Do we see the difference between the facts and the story that our brains add on top because our human brain love to tell stories? The freedom in seeing these comparisons is realizing that so much of what we believe to be objective reality is simply the elaborate stories we've made up. We are the playwrights, the directors, and the protagonists of our own mental dramas. So. 
how do you begin to separate fiction from fact in your own life? How do you reclaim your authorial power over the narratives that shape your experience? Try these steps. Step number one, notice your stories. Become aware of the running inner commentary, the protagonist's voice inside your head. Really listen to the tales you are telling about your life. Step number two, pause the narrative. When you find yourself in the thick of a disempowering story, consciously hit the pause button. Take a step back. Number three, reduce to facts. Once you've paused the narrative, strip away the judgments, emotional charges, descriptive words, and interpretation until you are left with just the core objective facts. Things everyone in the world would agree with. Things we could prove in a court of law. What are the simple circumstances divorced of meaning? Step number four, notice the freedom. Once you see just the facts, notice the spaciousness and the neutrality of the situation. This is an open space to reauthor your story from. Step number five, choose a new lens. Now that you've cleared out the fiction, what new truth and perspective wants to emerge? How else could you choose to view these circumstances? Consciously select a life serving, empowering interpretation to layer back on. And step number six, rewrite your story. From this open space and new perspective, recast the events of your life into an uplifting narrative, one that serves your growth and freedom rather than your constriction. Become the author you want to be. Now notice, I didn't say the fact that we're always writing stories is a problem, because step number six is rewrite your story. Life would be very, very boring if we only ever talked or thought in facts. It is really boring. When you go through this process and you separate out fact from fiction and you retell the story, but with only with the facts, it is so boring. I'm not telling you that we should only ever think about facts or only talk in facts. That's not how the human experience works. We like stories. So we're not saying stories are bad. When our stories are limiting our freedom, we just want to rewrite them. And we have to go all the way back and strip it down to the facts before we can rewrite a new story. Because when we tell our story so much, our brain starts to think that our story is the facts. And from there, it's really hard to rewrite a new story because we think we're just looking at facts. So we have to strip off all the old story, get down to just the facts so that we can rewrite a better story. A story that empowers us, a story that gives us freedom, a story that helps us to live the life we want and to be who we want to be. The more you practice this process, the more you realize the immense creative power you have over the reality you experience. Simply by altering meanings and narratives you assign, you can radically transform your inner world. So here are some questions to consider. Where in your life might you benefit from this exercise of separating fact from fiction? Now, here's a hint. What are you feeling the most emotion about right now? That's a really good place to start. Number two, what are just the facts of the situation? Number three, how else might you interpret this set of facts? Number four, of all the various ways you could look at this, what do you want to believe? When you peel away, Stories of scarcity, mistreatment, failure, unworthiness, and fear. You are left only with neutral facts that have no inherent negative charge. You start to see that your reality is truly a blank slate upon which you can inscribe any story you choose. The question is do you want to keep telling the same old tales that hold you back? The ones that make you feel small, limited, disempowered. Or are you willing to rewrite your narrative to see yourself and your circumstances through a more loving, abundant lens? The good news is, by separating fact from fiction, you free yourself from the invisible cage of limiting stories. With clarity of perspective, you open a space of creative choice. And in that open space is where the true freedom 
to craft an extraordinary life arises. Live free, love life. Thank you for watching this episode of Live Free, Love Life. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like, comment, and share. See you next time.